well, it's early in the morning and I am going to go out and run this battery down to 50% so we can test the 6 amp charger. And so I've got a 2 amp charger now with this. No, sorry, I've got a 4 amp charger with this. Originally it came with a 2 amp charger, but because of the woes and stuff, they swapped out for another charger that just happened to be a used 4 amp one. So I was going to compare a 2 amp versus 6 amp, but it's going to be a comparison between the 4 amp um, and the 6 amp. I can tell you that the 2 amp is really slow. Um, so we'll see what this new 6 amp charger is like. I brought it inside because really I could take the battery off the bike, but I'm going to charge it on bike because I've got a, you've only got the bar and little lights and I actually want to see a percentage readout. This is a bit near this hatch, as you might call it, um, but it doesn't matter, inexpensive. So let's put it in, put that in, e-bike battery charged and it's jumped straight to 51%, which actually, to be fair, you will see as, as it levels out and sits there without use. So, but I'll do exactly the same as I did before, get it down to just below 50 and then plug it in as soon as I get back in. And that is the time. It's gone half past eight. 90% charged and the time is five to 10, just gone. Well, from 50% to 100%, it's taken two hours and 20 minutes with the four amp charger. Now let's try the six amp charger. Let's get this six amp plugged in. It was just 49, literally came straight onto 50. So off we go. There is the start time. Well, just short of one hour, just short, two minutes short, and it is 90%. So we're 20 minutes up at this point from 50% to 90. 20 minutes faster than the four amp. So as you can see there, it has taken one hour and 15 minutes to go from 50 to 100% charge. So if you want that fast charging, then yeah, the six amp is gonna deliver that sort of this difference between the four amp and the six amp. It's weirdly, it's almost twice as fast, not, not really quite, but it's um, yeah, an hour and five minutes difference I found in real life. So could be worth it if you did wanna head back out as soon as possible. I thought, what's the point? in doing a recharge test because you guys are going to be going yeah but what is it from zero so i've headed out and i'm trying to get it down to zero as close as possible i am not going to run out even for you viewers to get to zero but i'll get as close as i can hopefully i'll knock it on the edit zero and roll back into the drive but then at least we'll get a good test then zero to 100 or more or less zero to 100 so you know what the recharge time is like if you're mad and i think in doing like 80 miles in a day off-road so right i'll kick on and get on with it so at two percent it conked out <sighs> well that's an answer to a question i hadn't asked would it just shut off before zero answer yes so it shut off at two percent okay and i got nothing now oh, this is all Huh. Normal mode, should we call it? <laughs> the next question you're not asking is what happens if you turn it off and then turn it back on again? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's below 30. And it's due a service because the mileage. What? Okay, let's start riding. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't give you any power back or anything weird like that. Oh, but actually, it's not too bad and it's easiest gear. I've got that really steep hill without getting off, which is quite nice. Right, let's get her on charge and time how long it takes from dead to 100. Never mind naught. Okay, it's five minutes past three in the afternoon. Let's plug it in. Okay, aha. So on the screen, look, even though it's dead, so you won't be able to ride it, it says 3%. So that's an interesting one, but there we go. Let's see what happens now. 
Well, it got to about 50% at 10 past four. So it went from essentially naught, but 3%, 0%, 3%, 3%, uh, almost an hour to just over an hour, basically an hour and sort of an hour and five minutes to 50%. So at five past five, it hit 80%. So that gives you a, a scale of naught to 80% if you were to head out on 80% um, and not worry about the last 20. Uh, typically with lithium ion batteries, when they're charging, the latter part of the charging cycle after 80% tends to dial off. Don't know if it's the case with this one, but at least that gives you a metric up to 80%. The time is... 5.42 and we are at 100% folks, job done. So that kind of closes out that uh, experiment for you all. Six amp charger, well worth it, isn't it? If you want to get back on the road and get a charge as quick as possible. So if you'd stopped at a pub or something um, and you had your lunch, shove it in for an hour as long as they let you charge there, of course, only three pin plug, why not? you are going to get a substantial amount of charge back into your bike. So, yeah, if you can go for 6-amp, I would definitely recommend it.